be honest with you, after Rachel had pulled out, we could have taken a nice, easy defence. We picked someone who was ranked number one in America. I'm not here to play games. I want good defences, because now it's only going to get harder. But mark my words, that world title will stay in England. She's from the Mayover gym, so she has that nice, slick, defensive movement about her. She's got a lovely jab, good amateur career. She's a big name in America, so that, her name carries a bit of weight. Um, she starts sharp, good torso movement, head movement. She's staying physically the same like, structure as me, so it's going to be a good fight. I think we both, we both hit quite hard. You, I respect any fighter, but someone that can get ranked, especially in America, you just, you know that they're gonna be, they're gonna bring fire, so I'm prepared for a big fight. I'm, I'm proud of what I've achieved, but I'd be lying if I said I was content, because I'm not content. And I thought that I would wake up afterwards and feel like this sense of contentment, but I don't, because I'm like, I want more now. I want more titles, I want more belts, I wanna go on a unified division, I wanna do more. So I'm happy, I'm proud, but I'm not content, I want more. I'm someone who's openly admitted that I've struggled in the past with, with mental health and, you know, especially after the Rachel Ball loss, I was at an all-time low, I was, I was suicidal, I was in a bad way. And then you take a step back and you begin to learn things about yourself. And I kept saying to everybody, this was part of God's plan, and I did believe it. Listen, however you look at the fight, whether you thought I won it or not, she still humbled me, she's taught me a lot of lessons. And because of her, I now train even harder. I changed my life because of her. I now live in camp. You know, I live in that hotel room that we talked about last camp. And I'm back here doing it again now. So that loss just gave me that extra bit of motivation. I've come down like two weights because of it. It's just added more, not pressure, because I enjoy the pressure. You know, pressure is a privilege. If, you, if, someone, if there's pressure on you, it's because someone believes in you. So I embrace the pressure but I'm, I learned a lot of lessons from that fight and I'll take that moving into the next fight. I've, I've, I know what to do now. You should never give up and I'm glad that I, I carried on and I was persistent and I did what I needed to do, but yeah, you should never give up. Through hard work and dedication, anything is possible and I'm an example of that. I've, I've bounced back. I've, that's like many times in my life, but not just from the loss. If you look at where I was eight years ago, to sitting here now as a world champion, it's ridiculous. So yeah, no, I'm, I am, I'm proud of myself. I'm now in the history books. No matter whatever happens now, nobody can take this away from me. I am a world champion. I will go down in history as a world champion. But I'm not content with just being a WBA world champion. I want to be WBC. I want to be IB. I want to go on and do great things. So legacy is now my thing. I want to go and create a legacy for myself. You know, it's not forget your money, your fame, your materialistic things. It's something you feel inside yourself. And to know I can look at my mum and know that she's proud of me and I'm in the history books and I can create a legacy. That to me is worth more than anything. And it's nice, you know, you walk around your local town or London, wherever people know you and it's for, like a, for a nice reason. I used to be known years ago for the wrong reasons and now I'm not. It's, it's, a nice, it's a nice position to be in. But I'm not content, I want more. You've seen the power that I, uh, that I have. I can cause concussive one-punch knockouts, which not many women can do. So of course I believe I can, I believe I can do that to anyone in the division. And still, that belt's coming home with me. No one's taken it off me.